Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to some more Stormworks. Today we're going to be checking out the reaction wheels. A lot of you have asked me how to use them and what they're for, so let's go ahead and jump on the workbench and let's see if I can show you what's up. Okay, so I've got like a little platform here that we can build off of. Um, let's see, the reaction wheels, they're kind of like gyros in a sense. Um, if you guys can remember those like gyro chairs that like astronauts work in and kind of test the way, you know, space will throw them around and stuff. That's kind of what we're building here. And that's kind of how I'll be able to show you what these reaction wheels actually do. So let's go ahead and let's see. Let's start with say, oh, I don't know. Uh, let's get a base going here. Um, we'll just start with some side pieces here. I think this will be okay. Uh, let's just go up. I don't know how big I want this. So let's bring this down like so. Uh, I think, you know, I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just so we have room. Uh, this could work a little bit better this way. All right, that gives us room to work in. Awesome. How high actually can we go up? Let's go all the way up. Is that the height? Okay, there's the height right there that we are stuck inside working. Okay, so I think what we need to do, how tall is this? This is 36. So what's gonna be half of that? 15, 16, 17, 18? Something like right in there. Is that, that's about, that's close. That's close. It'll work. All right. So right here, we're going to delete this and get rid of that. We're going to go to our pivots. And for this, I'm going to grab a velocity pivot. They tend to kind of just have some free floating abilities to them. Uh, so we can do that like that. And that works. All right. So off of this, we are going to build, see if we can get it here. We're going to build ourselves another ring here and let's do it on the inside here. That way we have uh, areas that we won't have collision. So we'll do it like this. We'll come across. We'll do it like so. We're gonna come down the bottom here, go like that, and we'll go across. Now, I gotta make sure that this is even here. Hang on, let's merge all this together. Merge that. Now, from the center here, we've got 18. And then from center here, we've got 16. So that does not, that does not line up. So we need to come across here, which I think will be okay. Get rid of that. Now, does that equal 16 when we come down? That does, okay. And then this equals 16. Okay, now, how far across is 16 here? That is 16. So all of this needs to go. Let's do the same thing up top. We're gonna try to make this as even as possible. I want this to work how I envision it. And, and then it, hopefully it can ex I can explain things this way for you guys. Uh, so we need to come over with both of these. Uh, so we're gonna go and grab all these and move them. All right, I think that's right because they weren't, they weren't even. Um, let's see if this is, take care of all that. We'll go across here like so. And we want, 16 is that's 17 so that's 16 we need to go one more block in with these all right i think that's right oh man look at all these pieces we've got now okay let's fix all this okay this goes together this goes with this this goes with this this goes with that okay this is part of this we can get rid of all of that now this should be an even square that is 16 that way perfect so now let's delete right there we're gonna delete right here as well. Whoops, we got extra blocks here, no worries. I uh, will delete that. Let's go ahead and grab ourselves another velocity pivot. We're gonna slap that right in there. And this does not matter. The arrows do not matter for this. We just need some free floating pivots here. And that's what we're using these for. Uh, so we can go ahead and block these off like so. Let's go ahead and we're gonna come in like so. We're gonna go up, we go up, there we go, nice. And we'll come over like so. And we can merge all this together. Now we've got our gyro chair, technically. Uh, so within this, now we can put our reaction wheels and we have all degrees of turn that we can use here. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's grab, let's do this. Let's find a way to put the reaction wheels in here. So we'll do something like that. We'll do something like this. Whoops, heard that. And that should be a nice little platform to build off of here. Uh, looks pretty good now. Let's go to reaction wheels. Uh, I think for the sake of this, because there's not a lot here, we're going to use the mediums. Uh, I've already done some testing, and most of the time, I feel like you're going to be using these large reaction wheels. Or if you're going to be building something super, super small, like a, a little space chair to float around in, it's the small ones. Um, the, the, the mediums do okay, but I noticed that the bigger and bigger that you make your ship, um, the worse it gets. And really, you don't have to make a big ship for these to uh, cause problems here. Okay, so here's what we need to do. We need to box this off, make this a solid box in the middle here. Uh, and this will actually start to make sense now that we can do this. Let's see, let's do that. Let's get rid of this. I want a solid block. There we go, perfect. Solid block on the inside. Let's get rid of that and that. Now let's grab our reaction wheels. Uh, so we're gonna look at this. I want to flip this the other way so that our positive is going to the right. 
because uh, if we're thinking about this, this is our y'all. Uh, so positive would be right. Uh, let's go do our pitch. See, we're gonna do the same thing on the bottom so we can keep the weight the same. We're gonna flip that. We'll do it like so. And in my testing, I've noticed that you do tend to need two of these uh, kind of in conjunction with each other. So building them out like this is probably the best way that you could do it. Uh, so we'll do forward like that. That's gonna give our pitch and it's already on the other side here. And then our roll is gonna, we're gonna flip that and we will do it like so. So there we go. Now we have all our reaction wheels inside here. Let's grab ourselves a chair. Uh, you know what, let's make this a little bit bigger. I think it'll help uh, see what's going on here. We'll do that. Let's grab ourselves a seat. We're gonna put that seat right down right here just for being able to see what's going on. So A and D is our roll. So that's gonna be the front one here. Oops, I didn't put another one on the other side here. Uh, let's do that and make sure all the arrows are going the right way. Okay, let's go back and grab our roll here. So there is our roll. Uh, let's see if we can find our pitch. That is going to be WS. And that's gonna be these side ones here. And then we're gonna grab left and right, and that's gonna represent our y'all. Okay, so let's spawn this in and see what this does. Hopefully this works. Hopefully you can kind of see and understand what's going on. All right, so let's grab a battery because this is not gonna work right with uh, infinite electric because we need to make sure that the pivots are not powered. Otherwise, they're not gonna spin freely. Uh, so let's go ahead and get, we're gonna give these power here just to our reaction wheels. And that should be good. Let's turn off a infinite electric and let's give this thing a test. Okay, sitting in it. Um, all right, so we have pitch. Uh, that's our pitch right there. You can see that we are moving forward. Uh, let's slow it down and we are moving back the opposite way. Um, so to try to explain how this works, if any of you ever spin like a bicycle wheel really, 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 really fast, and then you try to turn that wheel, it's going to react against you and it forces you to take the wheel back to its original state. So that's kind of what's happening here. You have these huge wheels that are spinning and as you try to apply force to them, it causes force upon the vehicle. So you can see we've got pitch here. Uh, no problem. No problem. Do we, you know, we've got pitch. All right, let's try y'all. All right, there is our y'all, and I don't think roll's gonna work inside this jar. Oh, yep, okay, we're getting some, uh, we're getting some different effects here. And yeah, so there you go. That's how you could flip your spaceship around in space. Um, it makes makes it super easy. Oh, okay, I needed to make this taller. But you can see how the reaction wheels actually work, and you can kind of test these out and see what's going on. Now I've built up some momentum here, so it's gonna be a little tough to figure out which way I actually need to go to slow this down. Okay, we've we got lucky there. Our corner hit. But yeah, guys, that is the reaction wheels. It's uh, they're super simple. Um, let's do this. I've got them on a spaceship. Let's take the spaceship to space, and then we'll move around in space, and you guys can see how they work as well. Uh, I probably just need to dip that corner off real quick. All right, we're just gonna jump in my little test rocket here. It is super, super ugly, but it is uh, it's working for the sake of this. And you can see I've got reaction wheels all over this. Uh, for roll, I've only got these two because the the mass of the vehicle is very small on that axis. Uh, but when you go for your pitch and your y'all you're gonna need a lot more just because of the mass of the vehicle and you can see this thing's not very large and i've got to have these massive amounts of reaction wheels on it uh let's go ahead and get into space and uh we'll see what these things can do all right there goes there goes earth right there we're just now going into space we'll get a little further out here i'll kill the engines and then we'll start trusting these uh reaction wheels so you can kind of see what goes on with those uh, but it shouldn't be much longer now. We're almost uh, we're almost there. All right, we've been going for quite a while. Let's go ahead and kill the engines here, and uh, let's let's float for a little bit. See what happens. Okay, so we are we are stable. Uh, we are stable with our rocket here. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, do some testing here. Let's go ahead and try our roll, and you guys can see what this does. So you can see with these two large reaction wheels how slow we're still moving in space with such a small rocket. So again, guys, keep in mind that if you're going to be building some big big ships, you're going to need huge amounts of reaction wheels. Uh, to get these things to turn. So we'll do a complete turn here and then we'll test our yaw and pitch. All right, here we go, Full, fully around on our roll. Okay, that's pretty good here. Now let's do our yaw and we'll use the sun and the moon to kind of indicate that we're actually turning here. And there we go. Uh, the camera angle is trying to fight us here, but uh, I'll do my best to kind of keep it where you guys can see what's going on. Uh, but that is yaw, look at that. Uh, I'm not gonna do a full circle here. We'll just go ahead and kind of come back and show you that both both directions work. Uh, we'll get lined back up here with the moon. Now, the reaction wheels, they're, they're good for uh, small movements in space. So this will be good when you're trying to dock with other ships or other space stations. I think that's where that's going to come in handy. Uh, let's go ahead and do some forward pitch. Let's see if that actually works. And yeah, there we go. We are pitching forward. So we have uh, all, all degrees of turn here, which is really nice. Uh, so you could essentially, with a couple RCS thrusters or, you know, a little bit of... 
little bit of boost that way you could get to where you're going uh so yeah guys i hope this tutorial helped you guys out um that's how you use reaction wheels uh they're pretty simple pretty easy to use you just got to use a lot of them uh so yeah guys if you are enjoying these tutorial series make sure you throw a like on this video subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and yeah guys again if you keep suggesting them i'll keep trying to put them out for you thanks again